Hola and welcome to another episode of MVP playing Villarreal FM21 and it is a historic day for Villarreal in their first Copa del Rey final in their history against a team who we don't seem to be doing too well against. Uh, we played them twice this season and lost both times. Uh, Bilbao just seemed to have our number. We probably should have won the, our last game against them a week or so ago. But Inaki Williams showed up and, you know, he's, he's, he's that kind of quality player that can make the difference. So today, let's hope that doesn't happen. So if we go to our tactical meeting, we'll go for the opposition instructions as they are. Team selection. So this is the team that's going to face Wilbao in the final here. And I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> Our best centre-back, probably best player, Pal Torres, is very tired. As you can see, he's wanted by United, Paris Saint-Germain and Barcelona. And I've seen plenty of other people with their own FM saves tend to pick him up because he's a young Spanish international centre-back. And he's he's good. He's already good. So, yeah. Um, he's only got... Good fitness. He is jaded. Needs a rest. Coquelin as well. Not in the best of fitness. But I think, especially this final, it's too important not to play them. So we'll start with them. We might have to uh, make some substitutions as we go along. Unfortunately, Komar, our Argentinian centre back, is also well, he's even more tired than they are. So if he was fit, I'd probably be starting him instead of Albiol. Because I've still not quite forgiven him for his uh, torrid display at Ajax. But I don't think I've got much of a choice here. So this is the game where Albiol has to redeem himself. So yeah, the team that will go out is uh, Sergio Senho in net. Back four of Gaspar, Albiol, Torres and Espitain. Midfield three of Parejo, Coquelin and Gagliardini. And a front three of Pedraza, Chukwese and Moreno. Um, if we go behind the... There's every chance I'll end up chaining the formation to a 4-2-4. Having two strikers with Paco Asalsa up top just to give us a, a more of an attacking threat. To be honest, that's what we've been practicing in our new custom Gagan press. But I think we need to go with what we know for now. Even if it's not exactly worked against this particular opposition. Um, but we've just got a hope. I gave a good, good big uh, team talk before this. Got everybody... Uh, all motivated for the game. That looks like a pretty much full strength Atletico Bilbao side. They have got quite a bit of strength in depth as well. So I want to say we owe Bilbao after last time. Everyone in the first team is motivated. So we need to put our inconsistencies behind us today and really start off on the front foot. We need that first goal. I don't want to be going behind. Not in this game. Um, obviously, Baron Achea is still out with his, uh, I think it's a sports hernia. So Pedraza starts, but Pedraza's been great all season. So I don't think that's exactly a negative connotation. But I'm, I'm just, I'm praying we get into this game quick. I don't want to go behind. I just don't want to see it. it make me so sad. Pretty uneventful first 25 minutes. We've had the better of it. Four shots, still no shots on target in the game. Possessions, well, it was just 50-50. They're edging it a little bit. Their front three are fantastic, by the way. Like, like real top draw with uh, Mooney Eye in, as well as uh, Inaki Williams. Danny Garcia is great as well. Ah, Williams is in behind, and Williams scores. He just gets in behind. He's too quick. Especially with a tired Torres and an old man Albiol. It's just a recipe for disaster, really. That was Albiol there. Mm. Can we drop deeper? Is that the thing we're going to do? Where are we? We do have a high defensive line. So if we just drop that to standard, we'll try that. So that way he shouldn't be able to get in behind us as easy. 
But uh, yeah, the one thing that I didn't want to happen has happened. So, balls. <laughs> we'll go attacking and hopefully get something from this first half. And quickly. We do have a highlight and we have possession, which is always nice to see. Pedraza runs over the challenge from Kappa. Plays it over to Coquelin. All the way back to Albiol. The old man has a, a gander forwards. Gives it to Gagliandini. Plays the ball across Pereira. Coquelin. Coquelin with an absolute screamer from outside the box. Top corner. No one is saving that. 1-1. One, one, we're back in the game. Exactly. Precise what we need. Lovely little assist from Pereira there. Just slides it into his path. And Coquelin can leather it in saw a little notification that Pedraza's picked up a knock but I don't really want to replace him with Jeremy Pino in a final just yet so we'll uh, get him to play on a little bit longer Unai Lopez is injured for Bilbao which is a nice thing for us and 1-1 one, one at the break is pretty much where we stand XG's very similar. One shot on target from each team leading to a goal. I'm not surprised it is... Uh, well, I am surprised it's 1-1, but uh, I'm surprised there's been any goals, to be honest. But I'm not surprised that we're level. Not conceding any more possession after going more attacking, which is uh, filling me with confidence anyway. Pal Torres is tired. And we will make some substitutions at 60 minutes. But before that, Bilbao have a free kick. Oh, wow. I thought Raul Garcia had an open net to aim at there and didn't make the most of it. Yeah, 60 minutes. It's subs time. So, that being the case, we have to bring Komar on. At least he's got a bit more about him than... Uh, Torres at the moment because he's down to poor so we'll have to take that as a as the best we can do we'll bring on Vincente for Coquelin as he's tiring as well Gerard Moreno's done nothing all game I don't want to bring him off just yet this is difficult Gaspar's had a crap game, so we'll bring on Ruben Pena. And call that good for now? Yeah. Okay. We'll try that. We've got to have uh, Pau Torres play in our next game as well, which is a very important league game against Valencia. Arch rivals and everything. We've got a few more players tiring now. It's just this this, this schedule has been relentless. I'll show you after the game. It's for the for three months. It's basically a game every three to four days. Madness. Uh, I'd like to bring on Trigueros for Gagliandini, and we'll have him as a deep line playmaker. And. Is it time for Jeremy Pino to come on for Pedraza? I think it has to be. And I think that's all the substitutions, so Paco can't come on either. Mm. Well, we'll do that. And if we go in level at the break, we'll bring on Althalsa for extra time. That'll have to do. Uh, I don't want to do a shout. The shouts seem a bit broken for me at the moment. I don't know. Maybe I need to figure out how they work better because I think they've changed massively since what they were in previous FMs. <laughs> so, 83rd minute, Bilbao have a free kick just in a half. Launched in but cleared away by Pino. And they retain possession. Play the ball over for Iñaki Williams. Komar with a fantastic tackle to block the shot. And the following shot is held by a Thenho. I mean, well, I want to say we're edging it, but they've had the better quality chances. And I'm not sure extra time's going to do us any favours. 
because of how tired we are. Well, extra time it is. Not making it easy for ourselves, are we? The assistant manager makes a terrible team talk decision. And everyone is tired. And it's definitely time to... Uh, Pereira's, Pereira's having the good game. Um, okay, right, well, we'll, uh, oh, I thought we got extra substitutions in extra time, but apparently we don't. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to stay like this. I'm going to demand more from the entire team, see if we can get a winner. I mean, I'm not sure penalties is an option I would take, but... I'm not going to say no. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather win in extra time. That would be much more preferable. Oh, Komar's just giving it away to Williams. And he's placed it in the back of the net. Inaki Williams again having a fantastic game. Our defenders cannot handle him. And just giving him the ball. That's a tough one to take. So now we're going to go very attacking. Also out of possession, we're going to have our defensive line lower and bring our line of engagement a little bit lower as well. We're going to have our tempo up. Yep. And we'll play like that. Confirm our changes. And immediately get another highlight. God, I hope it's for us. <laughs> Bilbao playing it out from the back. Uri plays it to the left. Cordova plays it in. Over to Raul Garcia. Danny Garcia. So many Garcias. Out to the left-hand side. Yori's running down the wing. Plays it in. We've taken possession and Chuck Wes is on his bike. Running down the right-hand side. Can he do anything? Oh, it's a penalty. We've got a penalty. Oh, Wow. I can't believe it. Danny Parejo is going to stand, uh, stand up and take this penalty. And it's saved. Oh, come on. Football manager is cruel sometimes. So cruel. I know Parejo's knackered. And I probably should have changed the taker. But I didn't think that that would cause that. Oh, we've hit the post. Oh, he was offside anyway, but this is... Wow. <laughs> I can't even keep up. I'm astounded we missed it. I'm astounded we got a penalty, and then I'm astounded we missed it. Uh, what, what do we even do from here? We do have another highlight. With the throw-in, Parejo plays it into Pino. Cheeky back heel to Ibora. Trigueros. Trigueros sticks it in the bottom corner. It's 2-2. And we may as well be going to the penalties. We've clawed it back again. God, if we'd have scored that penalty, we'd be winning now. Lovely uh, blind pass from Pino. Simple pass from Ibora. And Trigueros just does what he does best and sticks it in the bottom corner. Lovely finish. The question is, is there enough time to get another... We've been all over them in extra time. Apart from their breakaway goal, which was gifted to them again by our shitey defence. And we're going to penalties. <laughs> God. <laughs> I should have predicted this. Uh, I'm, I'm very concerned about Danny Parejo now. Apparently he's calm ahead of his penalty shootout. He's by far our best penalty taker, so he's ha he has to he has to he has to take one. But having missed one already, I am mega nervous. So we'll have Vincente go fifth. We'll just go in order, I think. I think I'd have Albiol. Then Chukweze, then Pena, 
but I'm hoping we don't need that many. I'm, I'm worried after the fourth penalty because our penalty takers go right down and that's mainly due to our uh, substitutions. Team talk. I didn't realise you get team talks now at the uh, at penalty shootout time. Relax, pick your spot and, and uh, don't change your mind. I don't think that really did anything. So Danny Perejo to stand up for his second penalty of the game. And he puts it in this time. Why couldn't you do that in the bloody extra time, man? Ah, oh. Right, Ra Garcia steps up. And just said Ho can't save it. Gerard Moreno, who's been absent all game, puts it in the bottom right. Does his job when he's needed to. Andre Kappa now. I'm a big fan of Kappa. He's had another good game against us. And delivers on his penalty. Now Trigueros, who's the whole reason we're able to even be in this penalty shootout, sticks it in the bottom right. A lot of bottom rights today. Sergio, just dive bottom right. That's where it's going. He does, but it doesn't get there. 3-3. Three, three. Esputan steps up. Oh, he's a lefty. Oh! That was close. Just about gets past the goalkeeper. He definitely got a hand to it. Probably wish he's done better. Cordoba now. I'll go straight down the middle. Oh, no. See, this... Oh. Vincente. Vincente, please. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, Ibora. Ibora, you're killing me. And it's Ianaki Williams. Of course it is. To step up for their fifth penalty. Oh, I don't even need to look. I know it's going in. Well. Bollocks. So today we have Valencia at home, Arch Nemesis above us in the table, and I'll show you why this game is massively important. So we're fifth, they're fourth. They're in the spot we need to be in. We've got a game in hand on them, so let's assume we win it. That puts us up to 57 points. Valencia are on 62. If we win today, then that makes them catchable because it puts us up to 60, them staying on 62, and we'll still have our game in hand. So this is a must-win game. A draw is no good because they'll be too far away. And they have got some big guns coming up, so we're hoping they'll drop points. But I think this is the only way we're going to get into the Champions League next season. Because Tottenham in the uh, Europa League is going to be a big, big ask over two legs. So, uh, yeah. Just typically, when we need our best squad, we have many, 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 many issues. So the team that will be facing them is Sergio Senho, back for Ruben Pena, Albiol, Coma and Costa. A middle three of Parejo, Coquelin and Gagliardini. And a front three of Pedraza, Paco Atalsa and Gerard Moreno. Now, defensively, we have to rest Pal Torres. He's too tired. Both Albiol and Komar are tired. So they probably won't last the whole match. So we're going to have to bring on Juan Foyth at some point. Left back, uh, Purvis is tired as well. So we're starting Costa. Right back, Mario Gaspar is suspended. So Ruben Pena has to start. Uh, we're starting Gerard Moreno on the right because, like everybody else, Chuck Weze is tired. And Pedraza starts because Baron Ache is still injured. So uh, a much changed side and a side we would rather be stronger. Hmm. Let's see how this gets on. They look like 
a strong side. I think we've matched their formation as well. Let's have a quick look here. No, they're playing a 4-2-4. Hmm. Interesting. I've not seen this uh, Spanish First Division table before. That's nice. Very nice. Right, we're at home. Let's make the best of it. They're playing with two holding midfielders as well, and their uh, wide players are quite f far back. Uh, they do have a highlight. Oh. Oh. Right, okay. Excellent. So, less than four minutes in. Kwame Costa's got himself sent off. Okay. Um, that's that's going to change things. So, Purvis is going to have to come on. Does he? Yeah. Okay. Or, or we drop Pedraza back. Have them play as wing backs. That does leave our defense a little bit open. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we can stray too far from the four at the back. So, now what we'll do instead. Yeah, we'll play like this. Okay, okay. So, we'll have Moreno and Pedraza. Uh, Moreno and Salsa up top. Parejo behind them. Gagliardini and Coquelin in midfield. And then just have Peña and Pedraza as wing backs. I mean, this looks like a nice formation. I'm not going to lie, but I'm uh, not too. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. This is going to have to be it. We definitely can't be positive like this, so we'll just go for balanced. Confirm the changes, but that's left us in the lurch now. Wow, I didn't think this could get any worse. In a game we absolutely need to win, Jaime Costa loses his mind and gets his, well, the first red card of uh, this save. And that's 1-0 to Valencia. Lovely start. I think this is just all our hopes and dreams crumbling in our hands, but <laughs> like I don't I don't know what we could have done differently. I think this was uh, not destined to fail, but close to it. Um they're suggesting we go very defensive. I mean I, I, I oh that's a free kick. Wasn't in the box, ref. Go to your little monitor and see it was outside the box. Because if that's a penalty and we go 2 0 down, I don't know, well, we just we're just screwed anyway, aren't we? No penalty, thank you very much. I could tell you that. Right, so in that case, we will go defensive. Are we on a counter mentality? We are, right. Yeah, okay. We'll have to play like this. Confirm changes. Ooh. Wow. So, as it stands, Bill Balgo above us. But yet again, we do have a game in hand. Maybe we'll just have to be okay with another year in the Europa League. But we're going to miss out on that Champions League money. Which I'm... Uh, very sad about. Can we get long balls? How do we get long balls? We currently have it work it into the box mentality. Hmm. I think we just go more direct passing. Yeah. Okay. Go like that. Confirm changes. I mean, I'm just going to be picking and trying to change this as best I can, but it's a, it's a very tough job now to get anything out of this game. Four minutes in. Come on. Not only did we lose on penalties in our first cup final in ever... This happens immediately afterwards. We look better getting to half time. So I guess we can say it was unlucky. But what else can we do? 
So Valencia have a free kick here. Jose Guy is standing over it. And straight I said how. Not really a highlight in my opinion, but okay, sure. Unless something comes of this. Well, it's not finished, so uh, Pena has it. Gagliandini, Moreno. Plays it off to Coquelin, Pedraza. Parejo gives the ball away. Maxi Gomez is in. And Sergio Asenjo with an excellent save. Probably should have been 2-0 there. Mm. Ooh, we have a free kick of our own. Parejo can hit them. Ooh, it's a crossbar! What's a strike? The goalkeeper couldn't do anything about that one. Very unlucky not to put it in the back of the net. We've got a corner following it. Uh, which is cleared by Valencia. Okay. Not all is lost, probably. Everyone seems quite happy with how things are going. Sergio Asenjo with a 7.7. I've definitely not seen an extra, uh, a rating that high. 7.9 for a goalkeeper. Wowzers trousers. Um, we, we're looking very tired now. Everyone's working extra hard to try and keep them out. So we'll make a whole host of changes. Trigueros comes in for Parejo. Ibora comes in for Gagliandini. We'll bring on... Uh, we'll bring on Ugarte for Coquelin, and then he can play as a defensive deep-line playmaker. Hmm. What else is there to do? The front two, again, have been rubbish. I'm just going to have Paco as a complete forward. Let him do what he wants. Gerard's not going to do much better, is he? They're not pacey, either of them. So that's part of the problem here. If we're trying to play long ball, they can't really use their pace to get in behind the defence because they haven't got it. Point fourth can come on for Albiol because Albiol's looking tired. Anyone else play particularly badly? Pedraza's not had a great game at left back, but that's to be expected. Hmm. I guess that's that. We'll confirm those changes. And hope that doesn't sink us. I still, I still can't believe we got a red card in the first four minutes. Talk about tanking the game. 15 minutes to go. I think if we just try and get something out of this now. Because if we lose, we lose. 1-0, 5-0. No difference. So, we may as well go attacking and see if there's anything we can do here. Pedraza is tiring, so we'll just quickly change him. And that is the best we can do. Five minutes to go. Still no highlights. We'll go very attacking and see out this game, I imagine. Valencia have had four times as many shots as we have. And that's the end of the game. Um, I guess going down to 10 men so early, I'm not mad losing 1-0. But I'm just mad in general. Sergio has sent her with an 8.1, really keeping us in the game. But when we go down to 10 men there, I don't think there's a lot any of us can really do. I'm I'm still just fuming at Kwame Costa. So I am going to find him half a week's wages. Cause he deserves it. Yeah, you of course you accept you're fine. Right. Well, as it stands. We're still fifth in the table. Bell Bow must have lost or drew. But either way, Real Sociedad and Bell Bow are hot on our heels. Only one point behind us. We do have that game in hand, of course. And Valencia are now 11 points above us. Assuming we win our game in hand, eight points is still a lot. 
So, looking at the schedule, we'll come back for a double header against Tottenham in the Europa League, as that's probably our only way into the Champions League next season now. Uh, and then after that, we'll do Atletico Madrid. Assuming we don't get through, of course, we'll do Atletico Madrid and then the last game of the season against Real Madrid. As they're the only two interesting ones. But, yeah, that that could have gone completely differently. Our season collapsed here. These 10, 11 games, just, I don't know. Injuries, poor players. I mean, obviously, uh, in the first season, we've not really changed the squad that much. And there's a lot more I want to do with it. But restricted finances and other things. I guess we've just got to look ahead and think, you know, at least being back in the Europa League next season is something. And I think that's the minimum achievement now. If, if we miss out on the Europa League, I could get sacked. Anyway, been a pleasure having you. Thanks for watching. It's been MVP and uh, I'll see you next time with hopefully some better performances. Hasta luego. Bye for now.